what's up guys welcome back to another fortnite save the world um coming at you today because there was a recent uh update and now there is a new quest and i am almost done with it um there's also a new uh well you can't see my mouse but this yellow thing um it says invent inventing doom defeat the corrupted vending machine to get the world back to normal uh basically that is it's in, it's in the adventure zone, um, but you defeat the vending doom in any, no, I think it's any venture level, um, doesn't have to be any of these four, I think because of my power level, um, it's allowing me to do one of the three, I said four, um, so there are new heroes, I have one of them already, as you've seen, I want to go to it, um, if I can find it, right? Uh, right here, but she's an outlander. It's mayhem. And so for the standard perk, so if it's just in your um just in your your squads, your I was gonna say survivor squads, um your support team. So under your commander basically, um not your commander, but under the commander, like literally under the commander, uh there is crossfire. Shock Tower draws a damaging beam between it and the player dealing 12 energy damage to us caught in the way every 2.5 seconds. And then this one, the commander perk. So if it's your commander, it does 30 damage to husks caught in every caught in the way every two point or point two five seconds. So it sounds like it'd be pretty fast. Um and it kinda I don't know what it does yet. I haven't tried it out. Um, I'm gonna try it out later in this video, but I want both. I want uh, both characters to to do it. So I'm gonna do a one away because I don't want to do a 140. Uh, <laughs> and then we're gonna do this mission basically, uh, whatever it is, right? Uh, I'm gonna cut out the load time, obviously, but um, we're gonna load into what it's about, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, here we are. I landed on a encampment, and it wasn't doing damage to me because I just spawned in. So if you curious as to why I wasn't taking damage, okay. This is also the uh, oh, it's a new area. But now for projectiles, what throws stuff at me? Where's the fridge at? Do I gotta destroy that? That's the fridge? I'm pushing it with my bow on accident. Anything to be generated protective shield. I think it might be these little mini fridges, is what they look like. Uh, and I think if I stand in this. <laughs> Alright. I wasn't sure if it was something they would have added to save the world, but it looks like they did. The slurp cans, the slurp uh, trucks, trailers are all here. Uh, something generating a shield. It might be shining a purple light like that one is over there. It might be that one. But it doesn't look like it is because I'd be doing damage to it. Mean to traps ricochet launcher resistance. Okay, so I get you gotta shoot it. There's gotta be another one somewhere right there. There we go. Shield should be gone, right? Or they gotta destroy all of them. Oh, get off of me, bro. This is ventures as well, so like. It's probably a bit harder doing adventure, especially if you don't have all your stuff. Uh, I don't have all my stuff, so I thought I would have been stronger. Uh, but I was not. Destroyed the... Oh, destroy the pipe, I guess. There's, there's two pipes. Um, it kind of seems like... There's one somewhere. The enemies are weird about it. Like, they are also trying to attack it or defend it, but... It's really weird. I gotta check this pipe right here. Oh, I'm lagging. Gotta check this pipe right here. 
Yeah, of course it's this one. See, they're like, they're they're attracted to the objective, but they're not attacking the objective. Yeah, shooting machine. I could have done this on 140. I thought it would have been harder than this. So I, so I didn't I didn't want to do it in 140. See, the enemies are attracted to it. It's so weird. The enemies are attracted to it, but they don't uh they don't actually Is there like a spot I should be hitting? I feel like those will give me damage or take you know, you take damage. Prepare defenses. Do I gotta defend that thing? Beat the vending machine, build defenses and prepare for an attack. What do you mean build defenses? Unless I'm protecting the vending machine, I do not want to build defenses. I don't, I don't really need defenses. As you can see, I've really taken any damage at all. Rough me, little guy. Build and prepare for attack. Am I defending this area? I don't really have. All right, we'll try it out. There's just a little, just a little husk right here. Can't build there. I might do I gotta defend this thing? I literally can't build here. I go here. Hopefully there's not a ton of ton of uh I can go block this area, but I guess I can't really Can't really do much from that area anyway. gonna put these because they slow enemies down and I need them to be slowed so I don't hit the end of the tunnel real fast. Uh they can't come from here. Why is it why is the like time of day changing? Or why is it super dark here? I got the hiccups. It's early in the morning. I'm kinda tired. <laughs> no, oh, I crafted one more, that's fine. It's not gonna work out well. I don't get a bunch of other traps down. I can't put a floor there. All right, I feel like I'm gonna get absolutely bombarded. I'll defend the vending machine. Okay. We'll go ahead and toss a bunch of these down then. I need. Need those, and I'm gonna use these. Cause I don't want them. I just do this essentially. I don't like hearing that noise. You see, when that noise goes off, they're throwing stuff. Where is it? Behind me. 
there. Wow. Okay. I have to place more traps. More traps. More traps. Ow, oh, the dust hurt you. I touched the water. Get off of me. I'm just up there. Without traps, they kind of just make their way through. And that's not good. Not those guys. It's, it's it's kind of weird to defend. I like that it gives you kind of uh, areas where the enemy will run through, but at the same time, like... At the same time, it's kind of like... <laughs> those lanes are really short. Uh, which is bad. Short lanes are really bad. Alright, we're good. No damage has touched the vending machine. Alright. I mean, that's that quest. Uh, slurp. Still enemy spawning in. Do I have to interact with the vending machine? What does it sell? Ah! <laughs> it's a big old vending machine with big tubes inside. All right, we're back. I cut that mission short, or at least the loading out of that mission. Um, because I was going to end it there, but I realized I might as well just show you what the other character does since I already have it. Or I have it now, at least. Uh, right here is an Outlander. It's a Teddy ability based Outlander. Uh, Teddy creates a spore cloud when attacking new targets. Spore clouds cause affliction two enemies for two seconds and then the commander perk is uh, affliction and slows enemies by 50 percent for four seconds so it lasts two seconds longer the affliction but it also slows them um it's pretty cool i mean he's got little uh spores on his back the mushroom guy i, I, I was kind of hoping it'd be better than that i mean the spore thing it could probably be pretty cool but I guess you could pair it with Jilly, and if Jilly's teacup, the ability that her uh, teddy bear gives, um, target random enemies, right? That could be cool with that. But, like, it would just be cool. I don't think it would do too much damage, which is unfortunately. And for the other character as well, like, that one could be cool, but it might not do a lot of damage because you would have to have your... You have to have your shock tower last a long time, have a short cooldown, and then have it do increased damage, which you can do, right? There are two characters that could do that. Um, there's just a, a regular character that'll give your your shock tower more damage and impact, and then there's another character um, that increases the energy ability damage, and I think that applies for shock towers. Um, so it could work, I guess, all right with that one. Um... There's a teddy bear one, so you could have two characters. One that'll make the teddy bear bug out and shoot random targets. Uh, but, but um, but it's weird. It's different. Uh, I'm gonna try them out in, in another video. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's what the other character does. I'm gonna show you guys again what the first character did. They're both outlanders. Here's one of them, and the other one is right here. Okay, but again, 
that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.